Hello and welcome to TDV. The G20 summit concluded in New Delhi yesterday. Today in Oman, a press briefing was held at the Indian Embassy and we got a chance to speak to Sri Amit Narang, the Indian Ambassador to Oman. Let's see what he has to say. Thank you so much for joining us today and that was a beautiful speech. Thank you, Antra. Thank you and welcome to the Embassy. Thank you, thank you. So could you share with us some of the main highlights? I see uh, the G20 summit concluded yesterday in New Delhi and the idea was to give you a sense of what happened in Delhi. From our perspective, we are very proud. Uh, this was a historic uh, presidency. It was a historic summit uh, and a very successful summit. Credit, of course, to all the players in Team India, but also Team G20, everybody, with the participating countries, including Oman, who contributed to making this uh, historic success. Uh, India's presidency of the G20 was, we believe, a very outcome-rich presidency. You would have seen the New Delhi Declaration, which in its 83 paragraphs, contains the global consensus on some of the key issues which tend to divide the world more than unite but under our presidency we were able to build a global consensus on these issues our presidency was a people's presidency for the first time g20 was taken out of the national of the confines of the national capital to the people of india and people of india responded to this as if it was a festival of a g20 and uh, uh, meetings spanning over 60 cities all over length and breadth of the country people coming together and celebrating you know and bringing the best of india so this was truly an unprecedented effort but also very importantly from us, uh, it, was a, it was a presidency of consensus. It was a presidency, as Prime Minister says, of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. And India walked that talk. You know, it was not just an empty slogan when we talked about one earth, one family, one future. We actually managed to bring everybody on the same table. And uh, this ideal of the Prime Minister actually is reflected in the outcome document. That was all about the G20 and the strong relations that India and Oman share. For more updates, stay tuned and keep watching TTV.